budget, amenities. So I believe that stepping out from our home and living alone is a very important thing that we should all do at least once in our lifetime so that we can get to know our true potential. And also when we just leave our home, we get to know the true meaning of our place, its importance, and we just don't take it very casually. We, when we step out from our home, we, we get to know the in, importance of little things that our family does for us and the importance of the place we have come from. So getting out from our comfort zone is the best way we can learn and grow. And that's what we do at Toastmasters as well. We step out from our comfort zone and try to speak and be a better version of ourselves. Now, let's start with our meeting and I can see a few guests today. So I can see Rohan Sahani. I would request you to please unmute yourself and tell us about how you got to know about our club and are you a Toastmaster? Hi. Uh, uh, thanks, uh, Bhav. Thanks, Bhavna. Uh, yeah, so I am... No, I'm not a Toastmaster. I came to know uh, through my online uh, research. I used to be about 10, 11 years back uh, mm -hmm. when I graduated, but uh, I lost touch after that. So I thought I was exploring if I can rejoin and uh, explore. Yeah. That's amazing. Good Thanks. to see you, Rohan. Soon to be Toastmasters and hope you have a wonderful meeting. So. I don't see any more guests. So without wasting any time, I would like to hand over the stage to Toastmaster Anand Kumar, who is also our Sergeant at Arms and immediate past president of Delhi One Toastmasters and who, who has a huge credit to whatever our club is right now. So he is a student of New York University and a very humble person by heart. He has brought an amazing theme for us, the city of our dreams, in which he'll talk about his experience of migrating to Delhi, probably. So now I would like to hand over the stage to the real role players of our meeting, starting with Toastmaster Anand Kumar. Over to you. Who am I in the city of dreams? Or should I tag the bubble of dreams? Why am I coming across myself time and again? A self which I left miles back. And a self, thousands in numbers, lying ahead of me time and again. Who is the man carrying son and daughter on both his shoulders. He's just like me. Oh, there might be some mirrors put out there around me. But wait, I cannot see those lights up there because it's so shiny that it can even blind the human rights. Someone please tell me if I'm now in the city of dreams, the city of umpteen white, a city of umpteen fairy lights, a city of umpteen naked humanity. How many of you can actually decide to give everything else which you own for one single thing? Can you think of that? Any quick answers? Okay, I guess not. But every single moment, you just like me is giving every single thing out which we possess for one single thing. The city are going to the dream of going to a city for better education, for better healthcare facilities, for better prospects in life, for better future. 
We are losing everything out we possess. The family that we own, the persons who were out there supporting us every now and then, the river banks which we used to walk along in the evenings, and at the same time, our own delicious cuisines, which we get to get from our mother's hand. But everything which is common among ourselves, among us, is that of being a migrant. Migrant is not a status, it's an accident, and not by choice, but by resilience and by force. We are going to dive deep into this and talk on many of the social aspects and the emotional accident which every person goes through, to a large extent. But just like the migrant who dwells into this, let me tell you about the meeting structure as we are going to flow into it. The first is the structure when one decides to prepare himself. The second is the inner conflict that's during the table topics. And the third, which is the evaluations, when his or her heart is speaking out, but he cannot go back to his own place. So we have got a prepared speech, we have got a table topic, which is the impromptu speech section where you'll be required for us to speak for one to two minutes. And guess what? Even guests are welcome. So, and the third is the evaluations. We'll get your evaluations done right then and there. But you know, to begin these evaluations and to begin even the prepared speech section, we need to hear uh, from uh, actually the tag team players who are helping us out through the meeting. So let me call onto the stage the first tag team role player that is being played by, I guess, is the timer of the day, and it's Toastmaster Arun Gupta. So Toastmaster Arun, it's over to you. Please introduce your role. Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day. Good evening, respected members and dear guests. My name is Arun and I'm the timer of the today's meeting. We have three sections in today's meeting. First, prepared speech section and second, table topic session and evaluation session. For benefit of our guest, I would like to explain the role of timer as, uh, for example, of table topic session. In table topic session, the time is allotted one to two minutes. Means the minimum time is allotted one minutes and mean time is allotted one minute 30 seconds and maximum time is allotted two minutes. And I will share the screen when you completed one minute. So I will share, share, share the screen that will that you can see like uh, green. Yes, Toastmaster, you can see this. Yeah, it's, is it correct, Techmaster, please? Yes, yes, it's correct. It's okay, good. thank you. So when you will complete the minimum time, like one minute, then the screen will look like green. And when you complete one minute and 30 seconds, then the screen will, will look like yellow color. And when you complete your total time in two minutes, then the screen will automatically will go to red. And the 30 second is exceeded is maximum uh, is a bonus time for every speaker in every section and for conclude of your meeting. Otherwise, the speaker may disqualify. So I would request to all the members and guests to complete your speech within time and not maximum 30 seconds of exceeded time. And I will submit my report when general evaluator will uh, will uh, invite me during an uh, evaluation session. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, Timer. Now it's time to hear from our other very naughty kind of a role player, I should say, because that role itself is naughty and that is the listener of the meeting. I'd like to call upon onto the stage, the listener of the day that is being played by Toastmaster Sanchit Gupta. Thank you so much Toastmaster of today and a very good evening all the members and the guests present in the meeting today. We at Toastmaster Master say that it is a platform that improves the public speaking. But what we tend to forget is 
it also improves your listening skills if public speaking is one side of the coin listening skills is the other side of the coin both things are important to become a good communicator to become a good leader that's why i am the listener for today's meeting and i will be asking questions based on today's meeting to all the uh, from all the members and the guest it is to test your listening skills for today's meeting i will come on the stage when the general evaluator calls me on the stage that's it from my side back to you toast master of the day thank you let's hear it for sanjit gupta thank you so much listener of the evening now let me call on to the stage who will be the language evaluator for the day or as the evening so let's hear it out from alok khujur and i guess if i'm not wrong he is doing this role for the first time so it's his debutant role as the grammarian or the language evaluator so best of luck to alok khujur and here let's hear it out from the grammarian of the day alok khujur Good evening. Audible. Yes, sir. Audible and visible both. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. I'll be playing the role of language evaluator today. My role is to give feedback on the language used in our meeting today. I will also keep a note of all the use of phrases, idioms, figures of speech, etc. And Also, the not so good usage of language and incorrect pronunciations by our members, so that we may all learn and improve. I am also supposed to read the word of the day, and today's word is impeccable. Its meaning: uh, flawless, perfect, spotless, or something which is without any fault. Examples would be: He had impeccable manners, or. if the service is not impeccable the customer is likely to get angry another example would be mrs nirmala sitharaman has impeccable credentials for the job of head of finance ministry i hope the uh, meaning is clear to everyone and i hope you will use this word to the fullest in your speeches today and in day to come thank you back to toastmaster Thank you so much, Alu. Now I would like to call upon onto the stage, who is very, very anonymous up till now, even for me, not to very large extent. But I like to call upon onto the stage the ah counter of the day to take over the stage, and it's whoever it is, please do come. <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Anand Kumar. Good evening, Toastmasters and dear guests. very often when we are trying to go along the right of our path our communication journey we do not realize that we are in advertently using certain words like crutches and we are making certain sounds which are fillers these kind of words and sounds are not very obvious to us but our listeners hear these words and sounds and the impact of our speech is reduced for example i was trying um to say something but um, but i was not that's such a difficult to understand speech if i was trying to tell you that you need to control these filler sounds and words i will do my best as the our counter so i encourage all of you to migrate to this side of the speaker where you can deliver all of your speeches without in any any impediments and i shall return in the evaluation segment when the general evaluator calls me to deliver my report of all the fillers and crutches that have been used during the meeting back to you mr toastmaster of the meeting thank you so much toastmaster rodi and now 
let me give you two rather yeah exactly two quick informations that is that after every speech what you will actually say is that there will be a link which will be sent in your chat window so that will be a feedback link for the speaker and towards the end of the meeting the meeting quality form so please take those initial 30 seconds or whatever the time you do get to give the feedback to the speaker who takes the stage today because that's really very important because as said in toastmasters and in round toastmasters uh, sorry feedback is the breakfast of champions and the second thing that you will get to vote also so if you're someone who is attending zoom meeting for the first time or toastmasters meeting for the first time you will get an option to cast your ballot for the best role player for the best speaker for the best evaluator so forth and so on so you just have to click on your screens if you are on a touch screen device or rather use your mouse to vote cast your vote but let's move on and begin with the first segment of the meeting that is the prepared speech and now to begin this let me we will have to first of all call the first speech evaluator to hear the speech objective so let me call upon onto the stage toastmaster bela agarwal to read out the speech objective for toastmaster jyoti kumari thank you toastmaster anand good evening everyone toastmaster abhiji is pursuing pathway dynamic leadership today she will be delivering a speech from level 2 project 1 the purpose of this speech is for the members to identify her primary leadership styles so all my best wishes for toastmaster abhishi over to you toastmaster anand okay so uh, if i have heard right uh, uh, bela ma'am uh, are you uh, there's some misconfusion it's uh, not so toastmaster bela is evaluating toastmaster avishi and i am evaluating toastmaster jyoti uh, okay. i was supposed to be speaker too but it's okay i can be the first one you can okay announce me okay so let's hear it from avishi first of all and then we will move to toastmaster jyoti so the topic of her speeches and i'd like to take that in the typical toastmaster style toastmaster avishi secrets about leadership secrets about leadership toastmaster avishi true leaders don't create followers they create more leaders says tom peter good evening guests and fellow toastmasters today i avishi will be talking about whether leaders are made or born who are leaders my style of leadership and uh, the leadership style that i want to cultivate so let's understand the definition of leader a person who commands or leads a group is known as the leader of any organization group or country i'll get back to this after some time uh there are two contrary theories let's discuss the first one leaders are born not made how many of you feel how many of you agree uh, with this theory that leaders are born and not made just raise your hand no one okay um this theory says that leaderships uh, that leadership is largely innate rather than uh, being developed through learning another theory on the contrary says that leaders are made not born it says that your ability to communicate influence and persuade others to do things is absolutely indispensable to everything you accomplish in life so what do we conclude are leaders born or they are made this is one of the most uh, commonly asked questions about leadership researchers uh, psychologists research a lot about it and then they have concluded that leaders are made uh, the best estimate offered by research is that 
a leadership is one third born and two third made yes i repeat it's very important uh, one third leadership is one third born and two third made so uh, let me ask you a question how many of you are admin of some some whatsapp group just raise your hand how many of you are admin of whatsapp group so can we be called as leaders are we all leaders in some groups i have seen that all the members are admin so are they all entitled to be known as leaders anyone yes or no 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 <laughs> okay yes um, no definitely not you don't need to be admin of some whatsapp group to be known as leader you don't need to be ceo to be termed as leader you even don't need to become a uh, a uh, president of some club to be known as leader let's understand the meaning of leader suppose i read 50 books on how to play football i watch some videos of ronaldo and i am trying very hard to learn all the rules by reading books and watching all the videos um so do you think i'll be able to mentor indian football team anyone i know all the rules no no not at all <laughs> okay thank you for believing in me uh, i say even i won't be able to uh, do so because uh, leaders need experience so by that we can conclude that leaders need experience um now i have uh, another question um uh, which characteristics of uh, narain modi makes him a good leader anyone is be quick his oratory skills yes uh, very mm -hmm. correct great speaker um, sorry um, great speaker um yeah his his impeccable communication skills um makes him a very good leader and another question uh, what makes uh, hitler a leader like what leadership style did he follow anyone autocratic uh yeah he was always uh, authoritative and he is is popularly known as uh, his way very infamous uh, dictator so both the leaders have different leadership styles and i believe that a person can be a successful leader if he has a combination of different leadership qualities sometimes you need to be polite to people who listen to you sometimes you need to be authoritative to people who don't listen to you uh there are different leadership styles and you need to adopt your leadership style on the basis of the set of people you are leading and uh on the basis of the circumstances uh in which you are put so if asked uh if i am asked my style of leadership then i would say it's affiliative and i got to know this through the self uh, self assessment that i gave uh, in toastmasters a affiliative leader is someone who promotes harmony among his followers and he helps people to solve conflicts because the less conflicts you have in a team the better results you'll get to see um it's not possible to handle multiple uh, people with the same leadership style so that's why if i'm asked uh, the leadership style that i would like to cultivate i would say it will definitely be dynamic leadership because uh, i have learned this in toastmasters in the ec being in the ec of the otm and i believe you need to uh, act differently in different situations and uh, so to conclude i would say no one is a perfect leader no leadership is a perfect leadership style it depends on situation things are very dynamic and i'm sure we all will improve as a leader in toastmasters because those master says where leaders are made thank you all thank you so much to us master abhishek i hope that your journey just not here in those masters but even outside those masters you continue serving as a leader and you reach many more heights in the coming days but for now it's now time for all of us to do our bit of thing 
and that is to provide the feedback. So what I'm basically doing is that I'm typing the feedback link. So you all can send your feedback to you know, for the speaker uh, and you can just take 30 seconds, 40 seconds or so, and then we will continue with our second speaker of the evening. So just take 30 seconds, go on the link, give a feedback what she did good, what she could have improved upon, and then we will just begin. We will just continue with the second speaker. And timer, please do let me know when 30 seconds are over. Prasmata Anand, 30 seconds is over. Okay, thank you so much. Now it's time to call Toastmaster Bhavya Jain as the second evaluator for the evening. And the speaker is going to be Toastmaster Jyoti Kumari. So let's hear the speech objectives from Toastmaster Bhavya Jain. So good evening once again, everyone. Toastmaster Jyoti Kumari is going to deliver her icebreaker speech from the pathway Engaging Humor. So it is a level one project one. The purpose of the project is for the member to introduce herself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. Timer, please note the speech duration would be four to six minutes. So all the best to Toastmaster Jyoti and over to you Toastmaster Anand Kumar. Thank you so much Toastmaster Bhagya. Now for the audience, uh, there's one quick thing which I'd like to tell because this is gonna be the icebreaker. Although I guess the speaker is doing this icebreaker for the third or fourth time. But in order to show our respect and she continues with the same motivation in her Toastmasters journey, we would I would like to request every one of you if you can just stand up and give a big round of applause after the speech gets over or if you are not able to do so, at least switch on your videos if your bandwidth permits and give a big round of applause by unmuting yourself and it would be good to hear those applauses out there. But for the time being, let's hear it out from our second speaker of the evening and it's Toastmaster Jyoti Kumari. So the title of the speech goes something like this. I'd like to iterate the title. Toastmaster Jyoti Kumari. Balancing multiple personalities. Balancing multiple personalities, Toastmaster Jyoti Kumari. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Anand. We, every person has three types of people inside us. One is what we think of ourselves. The second is what other people think of us. And the third is what is the truth? And the more you grow in life, the more pronounced these differences become. So when I was born in the year, I would not like to tell you, I was just born a kid. That was my sole identity. I started growing up. I became a student, a kindergarten student. I survived. I became a, an upper kindergarten student and I went on to become a 10th uh, standard student, which is considered as somewhat standard level of education. From there, I moved on to college and things were running fine. I was still in the category of a student. I could enjoy, I could uh, get pampered by my, by my parents. I could fight with my, with my siblings. Nobody judged me on that. And that was a pretty good phase of life. Everything went very well in college. I could try my parents because yes I had migrated to another city so I had the fun time of my life now uh, everything was going fine until the time I thought I will try my hand at this examination called the civil services exam and luckily I went through the mains level I landed up in the interview and that was when everything started going wrong in
Thank you so much. Now, I don't know about other aspects, but I do know that at least one of her siblings would have not forgiven her because she actually dropped one of her, her siblings from a very top point, which I still know about. So I can leave that thing aside, but moving on from there, let's keep jokes aside. Uh, you have got your feedback links in the chat option. So you can go out there and give your quick feedback for the speaker. Timer, please let me know when 30 seconds are up. Toastmaster Anand, time is over. Thank you so much, Timo, for being so appropriate with the timings. Now it's the time for the most enthralling segment of our meeting. And guess what? It's the table topics. But just like the table topics, we are here like a migrant who is here to prove something. And I was thinking like, what does a city will actually look like without migrants? And there are a few thoughts which came in, not to me, of course, to our table topics master. And she iterated really, very really beautifully about what the situation would be like. She said something like this, Delhi without migrants would be like a body without soul. Delhi's character is a result of all those people who have migrated from their own hometowns, living behind their past, to make their future, migrants enrich the city with colors, creativity, and culture. Our differences chart a rainbow. Beautiful words, right? If you believe that those are the beautiful words, now I would like you to do one beautiful thing that when the table topic speaker calls you onto the stage, show courage and come out there and give an impeccable speech out there. It's over to Table Topics Master. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster of the meeting. To all of those people who have suddenly decided to switch off their videos, I would request, please switch those videos on. Make sure that I can see your hand and call you to the virtual stage. Good evening once again. This is the time for table topics. Every table topic has a very strong similarity to the feeling that a migrant has. We try to go to another city. We know the dimensions, north, south, east, west, where it touches which city and to the area that it extends. What we don't know are the roads that we are going to walk on, the paths that are going to take us from our home to all the beautiful places that we want to visit in that city. It's a feeling that we all get and it is mixed. It has a lot of trepidation, it has a lot of excitement. We want to know what's going to come next, but we are fearful of whatever is actually going to happen to us. So I believe that the best way for you to prepare yourself to a new adventure in a new city is to participate in a table topic. Here's how it goes. First of all, we invite you. I give you a table topic. You're required to speak on that topic, anything that comes to your mind, any story perhaps that you would like to share from your life. Speak for one to two minutes. A minimum one minute is required for you to qualify for the awards that we'll have at the end of the meeting. Make sure that you wind up your speech by the second minute. Timer will show you a green card at one minute, yellow card at one and a half minutes, and two minutes, the 
red card will go up and you'll have a 30 second grace on the upper side to wind up your speech and hand the stage back to me. The topics are very simple. They're all based on the theme. So you know the area, just the paths are a little difficult to anticipate. But do not worry, this is the most fun part of your meeting. And this is the place which will allow you to come from a newbie to an expert. If you want that transformation, please make sure that you join me. And make sure that you use the word of the day, which is impeccable. You'll earn a thumbs up and everybody's admiration. So who is going to be my first volunteer? I'd like one member to come forward. May I request Toastmaster Geeta? Yeah, I would like to. Thank you so much. Now I have a whole array of topics, 26 to be precise. So you take your pick. Which number would you like? Let me select 10, number 10. Excellent. Your best friend is moving to another city. What will be your advice to your friend? Toastmaster Geeta, your best friend is moving to another city. What will be your advice? What will be your advice to the best friend moving to another city? Toastmaster Geeta. Thank you so much for that wonderful topic. Uh, my best friend moving to another city. Who can tell this better than a girl? I remember after getting married, leaving everything behind, getting into a new environment totally with mixed emotion, emotions of sadness, emotion of joy. Did a number of emotions together, we enter into a new life, leaving behind our siblings, our friends, our parents, and then entering into a new life and meeting the new scenario completely together, all together, new new parents, new your life partner, and the number of other people, new friends. So similarly, similarly, I would advise my friend that when you go to a new environment, I know it's going to be a little sad. The feeling of sadness is certainly going to be there. You are going to feel uh, bad about leaving your old friends, your old city and everybody behind, but then that is life. Change is life. You have to adjust with the new environment. You cannot cling on to the old forever. When you go to the new environment slowly and steadily, you're going to get used to. Try to accept the new change as bravely, as courageously as possible. Do not be too emotional about the past. Accept the future. In fact, not even the future, the present. The present is going to be extremely good if you are able to accept the change. But if you do not accept the change, as we all know, things are not going to be smooth and steady. So it is very, very important for each individual, whether it is my best friend, whether it is me or anybody else here, and we have to move on with the new joys, new selves, whatever experiences that we get in the future. With that, uh, I end my speech here. Over to you, Toastmaster Roli. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Geeta. I wish I had a friend like you always to guide me that accept the change with grace and pleasure. Thank you so much. Uh, now I can see a lot of guests and I would love it if they take this chance and opportunity to come to the stage. May I invite to guest Rohan Sahani? Would you like to take this? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, be a pleasure, just a minute. I'm just figuring out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I hope you can see the timer screen as well. Um, no, I can actually see somebody else's screen. Uh, it's Arun Gupta's screen. It's a gray, gray. Uh, yeah, yeah, now I can. Yes, now I can see. Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. Yes. So just uh, make sure that you at least reach the green card. Okay. So sure. which number would you like? 
six. Okay, that's great. Rohan Sahani, if you had to migrate to another city, which one would be the city of your dreams? If you had to migrate to another city, which would be the city of your dreams, Rohan Sahani? Okay, uh, great. So uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity. Uh, uh, if I had to migrate, I have migrated uh, quite a lot in my past uh, experience. But uh, uh, being in Delhi, uh, I would love to migrate to a city uh, which is much smaller and in uh, uh, nature, which is closer to nature, and which has less people and more nature. I mean, that's that is every uh, 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 metro person's uh, dream. So we both me and uh, uh, my wife, we always try to look look for something how 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 we can move to nature as close to as closely as possible. So probably my uh, choice would be if in India it would be somewhere in Himachal or Uttarakhand. If outside it would be anyways. Uh, my selection criteria is very simple: less people, more nature. Uh, that's that's about it, and maybe some something to work on. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, that would be my criteria. In, uh, in in India, it would probably be, uh, I don't know, uh, Himachal, Dehradun, anywhere, just give me any place. Uh, all I need is uh, a decent, a good food, uh, of course, uh, fully uh, uh, equipped and, and a fully equipped kitchen and just about some basics of life. Uh, because uh, life uh, for me is mostly about... Uh, uh, being uh, true to yourself and uh, and uh, moving less and maybe uh, yeah uh, participating more with nature. So yeah, that's about it. I don't know if I have made sense. Oh yes, you did. Yes, you did. Thank you. Simple living, just the basic facilities and close to nature. I think that you've hit the spot. I would also want to do exactly that. And Himachal and Uttarakhand are also two of my favorite states. So well done, Rohan. Very well done. Thank and you. Uh, now uh, I'd like to ask Kalpesh. I know Kalpesh has visited us uh, earlier as well. So I think he's familiar with the format. Kalpesh, would you like to take up a topic? Yes, of course. Okay, give me a number. All right. Kalpesh Patel, life is like riding a bicycle. Okay. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Kalpesh Patel. Yes. Thank you for this uh, nice topic. And of course, uh, riding the bike on the bicycle very tough you know when 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 uh, not only like in my example when i was a teenager or when i was a child it was very tough to keep the balance on bicycle but we learned how to make this balance Literally, i can uh, not no i can run very fast same way we can connect with our life you know everywhere we when when we start our life when we do anything we have a lot of struggle we have a lot of you know issues but Rather thinking about the problems, we should think about what is the optimistic, what is this you know uh, solution that will help you to more you know how you can uh, you know, grow, how you can move ahead in the life. Because problem is everywhere, but we have to think how we can think on a different way, how we can think a problem as a optimistic or a kind of challenge. Then we should you know move ahead. That will help more about to moving to anywhere. So bicycle is a good example. To understand the life, how it would be a typical whenever we start. But when we do practice every day, every time, then one day we learn how to ride the bike. So this is uh, the best way to, you know, uh, just get the lessons, how we can compare your life with any struggle life. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kalpesh. That was quite uh, informative and inspirational talk. 
Now, may I invite uh, Rajesh Choker? Would you like to take a stab at this table topic? Yes, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, may I get a number from you? Uh, first number. The first one. All right. Okay. If we were meant to stay in one place, we'd have roots instead of feet. Rajesh Choker, uh, if... Yes, sir. Okay. If we were meant to stay in one place, we'd have roots instead of feet. Rajesh Choker. Mm -hmm. I could not understand that question. Uh, okay. Uh, you know how trees have roots and that is why they cannot move. But we have feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we are yeah, yeah, meant yeah. to stay in one place, then we would have roots instead of feet. Yeah, right, right. Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, good evening, everyone. And a uh, good question. I would like to answer it. That, uh, man, uh, may, may to say, we can move one place to another, and but uh, no street. Yeah. Unmovable. So we should thank to God that uh, we have this kind of opportunity that uh, whatever we want to do, we can do. Whatever we want to decide to do, we can uh, bring the changes, we can bring the transformation, we can uh, do whatever we want to do in our life. So it is a great chance, and uh, we should uh, improve ourselves. We should uh, improve our personality, we should improve our uh, uh, speaking and uh, into our relationship and uh, whatever we can do, whatever is possibility we think that we must uh, do in our life, we should uh, keep it on. And uh, uh, first of all, it is very important to know about ourselves because awareness is very, very important. If you are aware that uh, you are doable and you can just uh, connect in your life, that uh, is going to get uh, that it is uh, easy to do. And uh, don't stay uh, with your old habits, don't stay with your old assumptions that you cannot do. And if you have stayed in your past, you don't want to think with that and then after and then you can do very heavily and you can get whatever you want to get in your life. So, uh, Thank you so much, Rajesh. Very well done. I'm so glad that uh, you took up the challenge and that's the fascination that we have with changes. Uh, can we uh, get from the timer if I have more time or do I need to wind up? Yeah, <clears throat> Madam Toastmaster, time is going over 19 okay. minutes, 44 seconds. All right. So I will then wind up over here and thank you all for joining. And I want to leave all of you with just one quote from Dr. Seuss. He said that you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, and you will steer yourself in the direction you choose. You are on your own and you know what you know. And you're the one who will decide where to go. With that, I'd like to hand over the stage back to our Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Anand. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, all the speakers and especially the table topic master. Um, I'm so sorry to interrupt uh, Toastmaster Anand. Can I request you to launch the poll for the best table topic speaker? If the poll is ready. Okay, so uh, Arun, probably you will have to do that because you have logged in from another DOTM's account. So I'm not able to access it. Okay, I think he's launched it.
Toastmaster Arun, you can let us know if we can proceed, if uh, enough votes have come in. People are left to cast in their ballots. Can quickly cast them and we can end the polls. Okay, so I'm ending the poll now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Bhavya. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Roli. And now there's something which I'd like to present to you all of a sudden because we missed one thing and that was the tape, the prepared speech ballots. So I'd again ask my Madam President, Toastmaster Bhavya Jain to sure. please launch the polls. <laughs> Everyone, you can vote. Okay, so I'm ending the poll now. Thank you everyone for casting in your ballots. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Bhavya. Now, I guess we all have got ourselves off, out of our comfort zone by taking part in this table topics. Now it's time for us to get our evaluations because evaluations is the most important part when you get it at right time by the right person at the right place, it can do magic. And in order to do this very magic, let me call someone onto the stage. When I first started visiting Delivan Toastmasters on a regular time interval, she was one of the prime persons that I used to see giving prepared speeches again and again and again. And I don't know how she kept that very flow and consistency. So you have got the right person as the general evaluator for the day. That's Toastmasters Sajil Jain. So let's hear it out from our general evaluator and that great place. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Anand. Let's have a huge round of applause for our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Anand. Imagine there's no country. Sorry, my screen is. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for, and no religion to. John Lennon wrote these words in 1971. When I think of him, I think of a world without borders, a world where the words like migrant or refugee don't even exist. Few days back, I was lucky enough to meet a person who we call as refugee in this world, a person named Hayat. He came to India from Afghanistan after fighting Taliban's. When I asked him that, do you feel at home here? He answered this with another question, that do you feel at home where people don't accept you or where you don't belong? As I pondered upon this question, I realized, I realized that any person who is in search of home, who is in search of passion or is in search of a life needs a little bit of help, a little bit of compassion, a little bit of tolerance to curb that divide. That kind of help or compassion is found in a general, evalu general evaluation section in a Toastmasters meeting, for which we have some very special role players. A general evaluation section is divided into three sections. The first section is in which the auxiliary, in which the speech evaluators come and present their evaluations according to the objectives given by Toastmasters International. The second is in which the auxiliary role players come who have been keeping a track of the entire meeting and present their reports. And the third is the overall evaluation of the entire meeting. In Toastmasters, we follow a policy of CRCS a commendation, recommendation, commendation, and summary approach. It is also known as a sandwich approach in which the positives are fitted in in between the negatives so that we leave the speaker, uh, in which the negatives are fitted in in between the positives so that we leave the speaker on an inspiring and hopeful note. 
I request everybody to use the word of the day as much as possible in your evaluations. And uh, it's always good to end the evaluation on a brief summary so that it gives a glimpse to the speaker as where they went wrong and where they, uh, and how they can improve upon it. So without further ado, let's begin the first section of a Toastmasters meeting. I would like to call upon the stage our first speech evaluator, Toastmaster Bela, who will be evaluating Toastmaster Avishi's speech. Over to you, Toastmaster Bela. Toastmaster Bela, are you there? He's on mute right now. So, Toastmaster Bela, you will have to unmute yourself. Perhaps we can take Toastmaster Bela's evaluation after Toastmaster Bhavya's. Uh, Toastmaster Bhavya, are you there? Yes, sure, Sachin. So let me invite on stage our president, who is also the speech evaluator in today's meeting, Toastmaster Bhavya, who will be evaluating Toastmaster Jyoti's speech. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sajil, for such a nice introduction. So I must say that the speaker, Toastmaster Jyoti, is an amazing storyteller. The speaker had a smooth delivery of her speech, which the audience could flow with very easily. I enjoyed the personal story in her speech when she told about how she used to fight with her siblings and go to school. It was very relatable to me. I love the opening of her speech when she told about we have we can explain our personalities in three types, what others think, what we think, and what we actually are. And I also enjoyed the pinch of humor she added into her speech when the speaker told her how her life suddenly changed when she became an IS officer. The, the speaker used various uh, good languages like ace it, take it, and new words like skeptic. So I, the, Spoken language was very clear and easily understood during the entire speech. The eye contact was perfect. The speaker was looking right into the center of the screen, which could interact with the audience more. So it was a good eye contact. The speaker was very comfortable during her entire speech and the content was perfect. It has a good introduction, body, conclusion, and also a message for us, which was the best part in the speech. So I have a couple of recommendations which the speaker could consider that could make the speech even more wonderful. The speaker could use vocal variety into her speech which could make the message flow out more easily and the audience could remember even more and enjoy more. Like when she told, I can't get my own coffee. So she could have more enthusiasm or something like that which could break the tone and we all could remember that punch in her speech. And when she said that, I can't sit on my seat with a towel. And she said, no rational person does it. So a change in voice could make the message more relatable and funny. So when she said that she, after her work, she often has to go and meet the dead family. Her tone could be a little lower. and when she's coming back from her amazing <laughs> work life, like she has to do such different things. And after she comes back, she's a normal person getting milk and eggs. She could change her tone at that time also, which could make it a more funnier punch. So I thoroughly enjoyed her entire speech. And she also told her, told us about why she joined Toastmasters, that it is important to tell in an icebreaker speech. So overall, the content was amazing, good eye, gest eye contact and body gestures. A little bit work on vocal variety could make the speech even more wonderful. With that, I would like to hand over this 
stage back to a general evaluator toastmaster such as thank you so much toastmaster bhavya for such a wonderful evaluation now i would like to call upon stage toastmaster bela who will be evaluating toastmaster avishi's speech sorry sorry toastmaster sajal no either uh, internet or speaker connection went down i'm really sorry for that no thank you toastmaster sajal true leaders don't create followers they create more leaders there could not be a more perfect start to the speech toastmasters abishi what i absolutely loved about your speech was the maximum audience interaction through which you had set up the perfect structure of the speech by strong what a leader truly brings by giving two great by starting what a leader truly means by giving two great and different examples of leaders your example was to your example was uh, of leaders were uh, true or full and in, informative and informative and here i would like to suggest that if the speaker would have used powerpoint presentation while giving example it would be have more impact and another recommendation that i would like to uh, i would like to forward is the is that because the speech was about leadership it would have made even a greater impact if the speaker stood up while delivering her speech and showed a confident body language and also the speaker could have made more loud and impactful rest this has to be said that audience in interaction was the uh, was best Toastmaster Abhishek maintain eye contact throughout the speech very well, and last conclusion as Abhishek gave a confident speech which was relevant and everyone could connect with it. That's all from my side. Over to you, General Evander Toastmaster Sajal. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Bela. Now uh, let's begin the second section of the general evaluation. for that i would like to call upon the stage auxiliary role players to present their reports first i would like to call upon the stage uh, toastmaster sanchit who is the listener for today's meeting thank you so much general evaluator and i'm ready with the questions for today's meeting so how to go about for today, um, this segment is that i will choose a person and i'll ask him or her a question if the person is able to answer it well and good and if not the question is open to everyone so the first question goes to um, toastmaster anand yeah mr yeah. <laughs> yeah so toastmaster bhavya told that her friend went uh, went somewhere to do her mbbs Where, which place was that that was china yeah right it was china all right so Let me see the question. All right. So, guest, guest Rajesh, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, guest Rohan told that told the selection criteria for choosing a city. Can you please tell that criteria? Okay. Uh, which city is this? There was selection criteria that. he had in his mind while choosing a city okay uh, he to a small city yeah uh, full of greenery nature and uh, it should be this there was one more decision i mean to say and uh, one more uh, the population must be uh, lower than uh, big city yeah like yeah right he right. right, right. wants to be and in uttarakhand and yeah right that that's correct all right so next question yeah so next question is for 
guess Arpit. Are you there? Yes. All right, great. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. So we didn't have had a chance to hear you in the table topic segment. So let's see if you were listening to other people. So uh, Toastmaster Roli gave a topic that if you had to stay at one place, you would have roots and not dash. Can you complete the topic? Roots and not leaves, I guess. Leaves or branches. Is it correct, Toastmaster Roli? No. Can I say? Yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead, guess Gita. And not feet. Roots Absolutely. and Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, the topic was if you had to stay at one place, you would have roots and not feet. All right. So next question is for get, um, Toastmaster Vishi. Yes. Yeah. Just a second. Yeah. So Toastmaster Jyoti was appointed to work with one of the prominent and fearful department. Can you tell that department? I'm sorry, I don't remember. All right, so it's open to every everyone. Anyone would like to answer? Except Toastmaster Jyoti. It was anti something. The yeah, anti terrorist department wing or something like that. She was responsible to for yeah. the uh, negotiation. Yeah, it was the exact the name was the anti hijacking. Group. I'm sorry. But never mind, it works. Yeah. So, next um, a question is for Toastmaster Jyoti. Yes, Toastmaster Sanjay. Yeah. So, Toastmaster Vishi um, said that a certain percentage of group, a certain percentage of people, the leaders are made, and certain percentage leaders are born. So, can you answer that percentage? He said that one third uh, of leadership is born and one third, uh, two third is uh, acquired. And made, yeah, correct, correct. That's absolutely correct. So, okay. So, next question is open for everyone. Um, Toastmaster Sajjal said that she recently met a refugee, Hayat. Which country was he migrated from? He or she was migrated from? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. All right. So another question open for everyone. It's quite a difficult one. Toastmaster Vishi said, no, Toastmaster Jyoti said that um, dash number of people are there in us. There was a number to it. Toastmaster Vishi, can you repeat the question? It's quite a difficult one. That's why I... <laughs> Three, yeah, it's three, three. three type of people we have in us. So that's it from my side. Back to a general evaluator. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sanchit. Now I would like to call upon the stage Toastmaster Alok, who was the language evaluator for today's meeting. Hello everyone, I'm back with my report. Today's session witnessed some fine language usage from our members. I guess uh, they were all experienced, so that made my work very easy today. Uh, Toastmaster uh, Anand used words like enthralling. Uh, Toastmaster Bela used interactive a Toastmaster Avishi used affiliative leadership and Toastmaster Roli, as usual, had a volume of fantastic vocabulary. She used trepidation, crutches, impediments inadvertently. Uh, also, there were some good usage of uh, proverbs such as uh, change is life, we cannot cling to all forever. This was used by Toastmaster Gita. She also said life is like uh, riding a bicycle to keep a balance. We must keep moving. I think this was said by uh, Toastmaster Roli. Uh, 
Toastmaster Jyoti used uh, said we all grow, uh, take up multiple personalities. We all are capable of taking the personalities. Uh, she also used words like proactively. Uh, there are also some incorrect usage of language as well that we must take note of. Uh, for example, uh, time is going over is uh, said by one of our uh, speakers. I think it should be time is beyond the stated, uh, it is beyond our stated time limit. Bicycle, uh, by, uh, it was pronounced as bicycle. I think it is the correct pronunciation is bicycle. Uh, for pronunciation, I would reiterate uh, uh, the uh, feedback that I received during my uh, uh, icebreaker speech that we should uh, at least uh, record our voice and then listen. That can make our pronunciation uh, better. And for there are, uh, and finally, I am happy to announce the word of the day that was used. Uh, Toastmaster Anand used the word of the day once. Uh, Toastmaster Roli used once. Uh, Toastmaster Avishi used the word of the day once. And that's it. Uh, that's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Alok. Now I would like to call upon the stage Toastmaster Roli, who was the our counter for today's meeting. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator. Um, Toastmaster Anand, could you just... Okay. Uh, if I could have the co-host access, Toastmaster. Okay, I see that he's nodding. Thank you so much. Mr. Timer, could you just hold on and not start my timing just yet, please? Okay, I'm going to begin with my report and uh, Toastmaster Anand, it's okay. Um, so, is the most favorite word of all of our attendees today. Everybody loves it. And there are some people who love it a little more. And those people are Toastmaster Anand, uh, Toastmaster Avishi, Toastmaster, uh, Toastmaster Sanchez probably has this as the only filler word that he uses. So he could try and work on that. I've noticed certain repetitions uh, we have a tendency to use. For example, we start with saying I was, and then I was is repeated again. If I have to meet, if I have to see, and then the sentence continues. So we could try and make sure that uh, such kind of uh, uh, interruptions are not there in our sentences. And we can try to pause a little bit, speak a little slowly so that our thoughts are more effective and pronounced. We also had certain judicious uses of pauses by Toastmaster Anand, uh, Toastmaster Jyoti. And they also used certain, what we count as filler words, for example, so. But the word was used very correctly by saying, so what does this conclude? This was Toastmaster Avishi. Uh, Toastmaster Jyoti said, so the one time I tried to drive my car. It was very judicially used. And I'd like to compliment Toastmaster Gita for not having any filler words or filler sounds and no crutch words. That was absolutely stupendous, especially because it was in a table topic. That's the end of my report, and I hand it back to our general evaluator. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Roli, for such a comprehensive evaluation. Now I would like to call upon the stage our timer for today's meeting, Toastmaster Arun.
thank you very much generally well written from where i have to start uh, i will start from the agricultural players uh, during introduction time every uh, a speaker has uh, within time and uh, during submission of agile role player the listener has used 5 minute 30 seconds language evaluator has used 2 minute 20 seconds and our counter has used 2 minute 5 seconds now coming to our three session prepared speech session in prepared speech session first uh, speaker toast master jyoti has used 6 minute 24 seconds i think it is uh, sensitive but under control and our second speaker uh, toast master avc has used 6 minute 20 27 seconds so uh, i think she is, first thing is that everyone is uh, in the time limit no one is exceeded the time so both the speaker uh, are in the time limit and coming to the evaluation session our first uh, first evaluator toast master bhavya has used 3 minutes 14 seconds and second evaluator has used 2 minutes 1 seconds now coming to the third session table topic session we have four guests in today's meeting and uh, starting from first guest toast uh, guest geeta has used 2 minutes 3 seconds guest rohan is, has used 1 minute 53 seconds guest kalpesh has used 1 minute 26 seconds and guest rajesh has used 2 minute 19 seconds and uh, uh, the big role in the big role toast master anand has used in the beginning of the meeting 2 minutes 47 47 seconds and uh, president has used 3 uh, minutes 40 seconds so everyone is under time and uh, this is from my side uh, madam toast master thank you so much toast master arun now let's begin with the overall report of the entire meeting our sergeant in arms is someone who has a very enthusiastic voice and i would really like to commend him on this because it's the best way to start an online meeting and he did an incredible job at it from rules to club mission he covered everything coming to the president of today's meeting i loved the way she connected the uh, introduction of uh, toastmasters with the theme of the meeting she had her own take own personal story as she reminded us that how we are getting out of our comfort zones as we are stepping in the land of toastmasters and she had a very welcoming voice while speaking to the guest which i absolutely adore uh, toastmaster bhavya then coming to our toastmaster of the day let's have a huge round of applause for our toastmaster of the day toastmaster anand because this is the first time that i have seen you uh, like fully audible and visible for the entire meeting and he was dressed up and it shows the kind of preparation that he had for this role and if there is one word that i could use to describe our toastmaster of the day it would be a paradox as he is the youngest toastmaster here but he is also a veteran toastmaster and i knew it from the moment you were sending those whatsapp messages on the group uh, dotm delhi one toastmasters group sending us reminders that please send your speech title please send your evaluation resource that i knew that you were fully prepared and this meeting was going to be a delight to uh, attend and it was a very innovative theme it was a very need of the hour theme and we often don't think of uh, others as we are so much focused on our self centered lives and thank you toastmaster anand for making us aware of the problems that migrants face or not just the problems but the independence the issues that they are facing right now and when he said that being migrant is not a status but an accident it's true that uh, it's true and we often forget we often uh, close our eyes to those topics that we feel uncomfortable with from the content of the uh, from the connect that he built with the theme to the entire meeting it was commendable the structure he explained the structure he even gave the feedback link on the group uh, he even knew that which speaker was delivering ice breaker speech and who is the debutant auxiliary role player and he kept that smile throughout the meeting by keeping that mood light and on a humorous take so i would really like to commend toastmaster anand on this and um, it was a very enthusiastic theme uh, coming to our table topic master if i could use the term impeccable impeccable impeccably then i would say that the role performed by toastmaster roli today was impeccable 
the foremost quality that i look for in a uh, table topic master is how motivating a person is to call upon the next person on the stage and we could clearly see how motivating and how inspirational her voice was when she was calling the next speaker onto the stage and the topics were really interesting and easy to speak to easy in the sense that we could all relate to the topic and there was a kind of excitement in the air whenever she was calling upon the next person even i was uh, thinking that what will what would i have spoken on that topic if that topic was given to me and we were all on the edge of our seats while listening to that what topic might come next coming to speech evaluators our speaker one today was um, toastmaster avishi who was evaluated by toastmaster vela what i loved about toastmaster avishi's speech and this is not just for this time but for every speech that she gives us the clarity that she brings in the speech she always explains the entire concept that she is going to explain and it's very clear in uh, the minds of the audience what she wants to talk about and she kept the speech interactive and humorous as well i really loved the recommendation toastmaster pela provided about the powerpoint slides of the examples of uh hitler or uh, one one recommendation that i had for the speech evaluator would be to show it rather than tell it so you can tell her that uh while enacting the uh role play of hitler she can actually say that do you know what kind of role uh, what kind of leader a hitler hitler was so she could actually say that he was a dictator or she could role play that uh, little role and we could all relate to it more coming to speech evaluator to toastmaster bhavya when i was listening to toastmaster jyoti's speech i wrote one word and the first word that i wrote in my register was relatable and toastmaster bhavya used that word as the first sentence in her evaluation so i knew it right then that she will cover every bit of uh, evaluation in her evaluation uh, then the toastmaster one recommendation one commendation that i had for toastmaster jyoti's speech was that the interviewer was certainly wrong because i found the speech to be quite humorous as well as it had a perfect message in the end so i would really like to commend toastmaster jyoti on that coming to the auxiliary role players uh, i really loved toastmaster arun's concern about the timers role for today's meeting before the meeting started i knew that he was asking toastmaster anand that hope i don't mess this role up so i really liked how he was practicing that how to slide show those cards uh, and he wanted to do the role perfectly and one recommendation that i had was to avoid the word using big roles because i feel that every role even the timers role that you are playing is the would be the biggest role of all if uh, we could have that then coming to uh, toastmaster roly arc for the arc counters role uh, anand was asking me if i could be the arc counter at the last moment and i could really say that she was the master of impromptu today because she was handling the table topic master as well as arc counter so it was dual roles i really loved how she even noticed the judicial uses of uh, pauses or repetitive words because we always just take care of the repetitive words that in the wrong sense but we never look for the good usage of these words or pauses that we should take in our uh, role so i really liked that part coming to our language evaluator toastmaster alok he was doing this role for the first first time so i would really like to congratulate him because uh, he did the role perfectly he even mentioned the word of the day the meaning he even had pronunciations in his report one recommendation would be that the uh, he was mentioning the words the vocabulary used in the meeting by enthralling affiliative if he could also provide the meaning of those words it would help all of us to improve our vocabularies coming to listener for today's meeting toastmaster sanjit in his introduction he even pointed out why should we listen so that part i really like that he even gave us an incentive that why should we listen to the entire meeting so and one uh, recom one commendation that i had in his report was he didn't waste time while calling the members or the guest he knew that who he had to call and that thing i really liked about the table topic master also because they didn't waste time to, they didn't even waste one minute while calling upon the next person so that part we could really uh, like imitate for the next meeting as well 
overall the meeting was fun and it was a delight to attend as i said before because toastmaster anand was uh, taking on the stage as um, wholly visible and uh, over to you toastmaster anand that was all from my side thank you so much general valvator toastmaster sajul now let me tell you a simple story but before telling that let me tell you another story that we have to get the ballots done that is for the ballotters and for the auxiliary role players so i would like to ask uh, toastmaster bhavya if we could have the ballots on the screens so first time launching for guest <coughs> so the nominees are language evaluator toastmaster alok uh, counter toastmaster rohi timer toastmaster arun and listener toastmaster sanjit So five people are still left to vote. Quickly vote. Okay, thank you everyone. So I am ending this poll now. Now I will be launching for best evaluator. You can vote for. Toast Master Bela Agarwal or Toast Master Bhavya Jain, which is me. Okay, so thank you everyone for voting. So I'm ending the polls now. Thank you so much, Toast Master Bhavya. Let's give a huge round of applause. So I would like to share with you a simple story. Three years back, when I was in this very sort of a dilemma, how should I go about my future education and all those things, I decided to apply to a foreign university and get things done. But of course, I have improved a lot and groomed a lot in this journey. But there's something which happened over this course of past year, specifically when the corona hit and The issue of migrants became clear. I was watching one of the videos, or rather a music video, by none other than Manoj Vajpayee, titled "Bombay Nikaba," which is, which actually means what Bombay carries with itself. I found that story resonating with my own. When I decided, I didn't knew about those aspects, but when I look today. i have many questions lying right in front of me and i have no answers about i am a person who is really very emotional especially about my parents and my family when i was a small kid what i used to pray was that god do whatever may come but give like entire life I, my parents my nana ji my sisters and everybody who is out there those seven eight bunch of people they actually are mortal they are mortal but they should become actually mortal but when something happened i decided to change that very sentence which i used to keep repeating within myself and say god if you will if you want to do something such as continue with the mortality which you have take my life before that but when i decided to go over there to study abroad the very idea itself that i will be cut off from my family was a big shock the another story what about the future i don't know whether i will marry or not but if i do get married what about that other partner who might come from a completely different background and might not be able to understand from where i come from from where i lived my childhood this is always a conflict which goes in the outer world and in the inner world you are actually trying to uproot yourself at a place which you are already planted so well you try to just dust it off and replant it at some other place 
in a complete university, your city of dreams. The person who goes to that very next city, he's an outsider for them. And when he tries to reach back to his own city, he is still an outsider for the people whom he has already left back. The person considers them as an outsider. Their view, their mentality has completely changed. Is someone out there who lives in the city, earns more money? It's not the migrants when I say only those low skilled laborers. You and me are migrants. I know Avishi, she's from a completely different state and she comes to Delhi to study for her education. There's several array of people out there who come to Delhi for work, for healthcare facilities, for education and whatnot. You are fighting that war, that conflict of being that migrant. And if you are someone else out there who's from the city, give them a hug because they are just like you. We are not blacks, we are not whites, we are not browns, we are not someone who is divided on the basis of the language you speak, the food we eat. We are humans. And what's most important is of all is that in the city of dreams, we are no migrants. We are humans. Over to Madam President. Thank you so much, all the role players, speakers, guests for this amazing, impeccable meeting. With this, I would be launching the polls for best role player and everyone please vote. So the nominees are Toastmaster Anand for Toastmaster of the Day, Toastmaster Roli as Table Topic Master and Toastmaster Sajal as General Evaluator. Two people are still left. Okay, so thank you everyone for voting. I'll be ending the poll now. So I will be taking the feedback of the guests. In the meantime, I would request everyone to please give your feedback to the speakers if you haven't given yet and your feedback for the meeting. And also the speech evaluators can write in the speech evaluation in the form and send it to the respective speaker. So let's start with the feedback from our guest with guest Rajesh Shokar. Please share your feedback. Oh, one second. Yeah. Yes, you're now on unmute, we can hear you. Okay. I'm visible or audible? Yes, perfectly. Okay, uh, so uh, good evening once again to everyone. And uh, it's a great session and uh, great uh, uh, speech I have listened today. And uh, uh, that's why I have joined the uh, Toastmaster. And today, the speaker uh, played their role very well, and they evaluate uh, very well. And uh, uh, some speaker uh, have great uh, command on their language, and they have great uh, uh, selection of the words, great uh, selection of the sentences, and uh, uh, great uh, new words, uh, as you told. So overall, that is very nice. and. Uh, I think uh, uh, I can also improve my speech uh, day, uh, uh, every next day. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us, Rajesh. It was a pleasure to have you. you in our meeting. And I'm sure you will soon be a Toastmasters. And we will be listening to your icebreaker very soon. Thanks yeah, for course. joining us. Definitely. Next, thank you. we have guest. Next, we have guest Rohan Sahani, 
please unmute yourself and introduce yourself as well as share your feedback. So, um, guest Rohan, are you there? Okay, so uh, let's move to our guest, Arpit Goyal. Please introduce yourself and share your feedback. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, am I audible to you? Yes, Arpit, you're audible. Um, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my experience uh, uh, at this meeting uh, is uh, have been very wonderful. Uh, I heard each and every one. Uh, I think uh, this club can help everyone to improve their leadership skills and communication skills. Uh, I think the meeting uh, is well managed and uh, is being professionally conducted. So my experience is very good. And uh, one thing I really liked about this club, I think uh, members of this club are from uh, every uh, category of the society. For example, there are professionals, uh, uh, and I think there are some college students also who are attending this meeting. I have even attended uh, meetings of various clubs, various Toastmaster club. But uh, I think in this club, there are a lot of professionals, uh, which I think uh, give an edge to this club because I'm myself an advocate. So I think uh, uh, if I join uh, this club in future, that can really help me because it has everyone uh, it, it it has people from every uh, category of the society. So this is my feedback and I really enjoyed the meeting. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Arpit. It was very glad to hear from you this. Okay. Yes, it is very true. Like in our club, we have all age backgrounds, all professional background. So it is, and even from different states. So it is a very diverse club and you are going to have a great time in our club and hope to see you soon as a Toastmaster in, of our club. Thank you Glad so much. Glad to have you and see you in our next meeting as well. Thank you so much. So, so today's meeting was really special as we had two debutant road players and Toastmaster Bela did a speech evaluation for the first time and Toastmaster Alok did language evaluator role for the first time. And I think they both were truly amazing and did justice to their role. So big round of applause for both, both of them. So now I will be sharing the results for today's meeting. Um, Arun, can you please stop sharing so that I can share? Okay, thank you. So starting with the first role, which was best table topic speaker. So any guesses? I want to hear some guesses. Come on. Geeta Kashyap. Geeta. Yes, right. <laughs> Toastmaster Geeta Kashyap. She is a regular Toastmaster who has been Best Table Topic Award in our club. Congratulations, Toastmaster Geeta. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I just want to. Um... Highlight that she also won the table topics uh, contest. Is that correct, Toastmaster Geeta? Yeah. yeah, from yeah. my class. Oh, amazing. Yes. yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Toastmaster. Even in the ISC, I think you had a podium finish. Yeah, I got the first runner up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It was really good, really good. Congratulations. Your club, I've been attending regularly and this has helped me in honing my speaking skill. Thank you. Yes, and I think that's something we all can learn from Toastmaster Geeta to be very regular in Toastmasters and attend as many meetings as we can in different clubs so that we can have a great experience. Yes. Thank you. So the next is the best speaker. Any guesses? Jyoti Kumari. Anyone else? <laughs> so the best speaker award goes to Toastmaster Avishi. Congratulations, Toastmaster Avishi. Thank you. So any guesses for the best auxiliary role player? Toastmaster Roli. Yes. Toastmaster Roli. <laughs> Congratulations, Toastmaster Roy. So 
the best evaluator? Any guesses? Toastmaster Bhavya Jain. Bhavya Jain. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Thank you. So the best role player. I think this is a tough one. <laughs> Any guesses? Toastmaster Anand. Anyone else? Roli. <laughs> okay, so it goes to Toastmaster Anand Kumar. Congratulations, Toastmaster Anand. So with this, I stop my screen share. So I have an announcement for you all that we are approaching our renewals and we have early bird discount for the members who attend, who participate in ISC and table topic contest, either as a contestant or as a role player, gets an early bird discount if they renew within by 28 February. So they would have to pay 4,200 for the next cycle. And otherwise it would be 4,500 from March. So I'm sure if all the DOTMites will take the benefit of this early word discount and get, it, get their renewals done within February and also participate in table topics. So with this, I would request everyone to turn on their videos for a group fee. Toastmaster Jyoti, Arun. Okay. Yes, Tarpit, you can also switch on your video. Alok, you are tilted. You want to like come back to? I was about to say that. Alok, please rotate uh... your camera. Yeah, yes, thank, thank you. you. Okay. So thank you everyone for joining and make sure you have filled the feedback form. The link is still in the chat box. So make sure you fill it and hope to see you in the next meeting as well. Goodbye and have a happy weekend. Bye.